Hello and welcome to the February webinar from Lely Oceania. My name is Will Averill and it is my pleasure to present this webinar on the topic of key operational considerations for AMS farming, that is automatic milking system or robotic milking. This webinar is aimed at the non-AMS farmer considering a different, more efficient approach to milk production. As such is just a basic comparison highlighting the differences and what drives them. Having been brought up on a dairy farm in the United Kingdom and spending most of my life within the dairy industry, the last eight years working with Lely Robots, I hope to be able to convey the advantages of the AMS system when considering this as a life or business change for your dairy operation. My background is from a technical side working for a large milking machine company in the UK who seconded me to New Zealand for three months when foot and mouth struck the UK in 2001. After helping with dairy conversions in the New Zealand South Island, I was offered a permanent job by the dealership, so on the premise of, it was something we would regret for the rest of our lives if we didn't do it, moved with my family over to central South Island New Zealand where we have been ever since. Initially employed as a technician, I was heavily involved in the installation and commissioning of herd management systems in conventional dairies until I started working for Lely in 2012, working mainly on A3 and A4 astronaut robots and the Juno robotic feed pusher. My present position is with Lely New Zealand on the technical support team, supporting technicians and Lely centres out in the field. As this webinar is primarily focused on Lely AMS systems, I will be using a few Lely acronyms. So here is a brief explanation. T for C, or Time for Cows, is the Lely Herd Management Program. MQC2, that is Milk Quality Control, second generation, measures the milk quality every milking in real time on each individual quarter, measuring the milk colour conductivity and temperature. MQCC2, that is milk quality control cell count. The function of the MQCC is to give an indication on the cell count of the milk per cow. TDS, a teat detection system or laser, and this is used to identify the teat position for cup attachment and in the A5 robot for applying teat spray. CPS, cow positioning system with 3D camera that picks up any movement by the cow so the robot arm can compensate. FMS, that's the Farm Management Support, a team within Lely Customer Care dedicated to farm and farmer performance. TSS, that is the Technical Support Service, a team within Lely Customer Care supporting technicians and deals, dealers out in the field 24-7. The purpose of this webinar is to clarify the reasoning behind choosing AMS system over a convention, conventional milking system. With the AMS system, efficiency is the key word. Being able to manage by exception is perhaps the most efficient way of running your dairy farm and a perfect description of what an AMS system allows you as a dairy farmer to do. Being able to spend your time on the things that need attention rather than the process of fetching cows and extracting milk. Ensuring the best use of labour and having the most up to date and relevant data at your fingertips when and where you need it, enabling you to make crucial decisions at an optimum time. Controlling the farm processes without having to concentrate on or work around milking times. AMS is directed at improving efficiencies. Let's have a look at some ways it can save you time and money. The typical day of a pasture-based AMS farmer starts with a look at the T4C reports to check on robot performance, separation cows or cows for insemination, followed by the robot daily routines and hosing down of the shed. There is time then for farm management or maintenance tasks moved around to suit the farmer and their situation. Brake fences still need moving and any late cows still in the paddocks can be pushed into the laneways to make their own way back to the milking shed. A cursory late afternoon inspection of the robots and hose down of the shed, usually time to coincide with the main wash so the filter socks can be changed and any gate changes to the paddocks as needed. Labour is always an issue on dairy farms 
and it is still required for AMS milking, but less of it with more flexibility, allowing it to be utilised more effectively. Part-time staff with work tailored around personal commitments are often used in these systems with the work suitable for either gender and most fitness levels. With good time management and organisational skills, the AMS system allows you to choose how to live your life. Regarding feeding, this is just a brief summary of feeding as this topic was covered comprehensively in December's webinar. A reminder of previous topics will be shown at the end of this presentation. Use the AMS to make the most of your available pasture with the automated routing gates or grazeways enabling the efficient use of grazing paddocks day or night. Up to three feed types are available in the robot and external supplementary feed options are available to maximise cow flow. Ensure the best use of available and supplemented feed using FMS advice along with feed tables in T4C to feed for production. To maximise efficient use of feed, it is important that feed systems, whether in robot or supplementary, are regularly calibrated. The AMS system presents data that is designed to pick up potential health issues long before the human eye can. It can be difficult to spot an individual cow within the herd, usually just a snapshot as she passes or obvious discomfort when a problem manifests itself. <clears throat> With the AMS, she's not only watched constantly, but using predetermined thresholds set by the farmer, will be segregated in a treatment pen ready for management by exception, the attention she requires. Using the InHerd app enables the constant access to data and the availability to enable decisions on the go without having to remember or write them down for future action. Within the T4C is a library that holds the details of all the farm medicines and withholding periods. When a cow is treated, she is entered into T4C, the cow's milk is then automatically separated to a predetermined destination until the withholding period has passed when the milk will then be put into the vat. The data presented in the daily health report comes from multiple sources and is cross-referenced within the T4C system, enabling the farmer to make an informed decision when presented with a cow in the separation pen. With the ability to measure cow activity and rumination along with milk temperature, colour and conductivity and the optional MQCC mastitis detection system measuring the white blood cells, these functions measure the cow, her gut and her milk quality and temperature along with the cow's weight when the scale is present then compare it to her previous data to enable any out of the ordinary behaviour or milk quality to be picked up quickly on an individual basis pinpointing possible reasons and causes allowing early intervention making management by exception the norm. On the previous slide, managing animal health at an individual level was mentioned. This is taken further with the udder care system pre and post treatment. With the pre-treatment brush system pictured, using a fast acting disinfectant on soft reciprocating brushes to clean the teats prior to milking, ensuring the minimum spread of mastitis and contamination of milk, but also stimulating milk flow from the udder with the option to tailor the cleaning cycle to individual cows should you, for instance, get a cow who has a habit of, of lying down in the pre-milk area or on laneways and always presents a dirty udder, then the amount of brushing time can be altered specifically for her. Within this system is the option of the USA setting, developed as the name suggests at the request of American customers. This setting does the complete teat cleaning process twice. With a time spray of disinfectant and a short spray of the brushes to throw off excess between cleans. The USA setting is a useful tool that can be brought into play at any time and is turned on or off at each robot, enabling immediate access if and when the environment dictates. Post milking teat spray is done immediately when the last cup is taken off and uses the teat coordinates to spray the teats for accurate spray and efficient use of product. It can also be tuned to your cows at the robot and with the A5 
We now have the option of using the TDS or teat detection system for the teat disinfection process. The most effective use of teat spray is when the teat canal is still open. This happens as a matter of course in AMS. The cleaning of the Lely AMS system requires specific chemicals which are diluted to the correct solution by the machine during the wash or disinfection process. This does not apply to teat spray which has to be used at the correct dilution. The chemical type and dosage is set up at commissioning and calibrated and tested periodically or when chemical type or brand is changed. Using data in an efficient way will cut costs and help ensure optimal reproduction results. With the activity data, milk temperature and yields, calving dates and previous heat records, T4C reports pinpoint the optimum time for insemination and can, if desired, present the cow in the separation pen. And along with live production data will give you accurate information to make the best choices for the ongoing improvement of your herd. With more accurate heat detection and optimum insemination time, the possibility of wasting semen is drastically reduced, allowing cost-effective use of high-quality genetics. Historic production and health records can also be used to identify potential cull cows when herd improvement is a priority. The Laley Herd Management System and the hub of the Laley AMS shortly to be complemented with the new all-encompassing Horizon. A future webinar is planned to introduce Horizon and explain the potential of T4C and Horizon. We touched on the daily routines for an AMS system earlier in the presentation. Here we will go a little more in depth. The daily routines for a Laley robot usually entails a daily check, generally taking less than 10 minutes per robot. Following a predetermined checklist, with AMS, as with most things in life, success is all about consistency around the fundamentals. Part of the daily routine is cleaning the outside of the cups, TDS screen and robot arm, also the touch screen and checking the lens of the 3D camera. This camera is the cow positioning system and allows the arm to see any cow movement follow accordingly. Several things need checking during the day that may need action. The attention and alarm lists for the cows and robots, milk filters will need changing between main washes. These should be timed to suit your routines. Amongst the daily and weekly routines is the calibration of the robot arm and the TDS. Both are important to ensure consistent and accurate cupping of the cows. The arm calibration is done to ensure the arm knows exactly where it is at any time and the TDS is calibrated against the cups so it can direct the teat accurately into the mouth of the cup and time the application of vacuum and release the cups accordingly. Neither operation is difficult or time consuming. The feed system is also something that requires calibration, preferably weekly and or whenever a new batch of feed is delivered. This is important as feed cost is one of the biggest farm expenses, so accurate dispensing is paramount. Like any machine, robots work better and last longer when clean, so cleaning is an important part of the routine, and any time spent cleaning robots is not a wasted investment. Regarding an AMS system, it is basically a milking machine with added intelligence. So as a milking machine, the same rules and the same laws of physics apply. Laley AMS use silicon tubing and liners for durability and extended lifetime. There is an option of conventional rubber liners if you prefer. Silicon liners should be changed at 10,000 milkings with 2,500 milkings for rubber liners and the silicon tubing should be changed every 24 months. The vacuum levels and pulsation values and requirements are the same as a conventional milking machine and the milk still has to be pumped into the tank, still has to be filtered and still has to be cooled. There are a couple of fundamental differences and it is quite important to understand these differences. In the milking process regarding the cow, each quarter is treated individually on a robot, has its own pulsation and vacuum supply controls and its own milk quality control. So as soon as that quarter is empty, the individual cup is removed and the milking process stops. 
The other thing that's noticeably different is the transport and collecting process. The milk travels from the robot in narrow milk lines constantly in low volumes throughout the day and night, so the cooling and filtering requirements need to be tailored for that. Lely recommend an optimum of three hot washes per day for their machines, which have built-in boilers so supply their own hot water. These are compatible with heat recovery systems. The chemical for washing is added to the water supply on demand, the dilution being controlled electronically. Incidentally, if the dilution is correct for some reason, too strong or too weak, the MQC2 sensors will pick this up as an irregularity using conductivity values and will alert the farmer to a possible empty chemical drum or poor water supply. Servicing is a vital part of keeping the AMS system running smoothly and reliably 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. With Laley robots, three times a year service is recommended, every four months with four service types done in rotation. Laley centres offer service contracts that are designed to suit most needs, from a basic service only contract to a complete service and breakdown cover. These not only ensure reliable operation of the robots, but also help make running costs transparent. As these machines do run 24 hours a day, it is inevitable at some point a breakdown will occur, so it is compulsory for all Laley centres and dealerships to offer a 24 hour call out service. This backed up with support from Laley Oceania, and if the problem cannot be solved locally, Laley International, all offering 24 hour support. As a Laley customer, you'll have access to training and ongoing support before, during, and after startup from our farm management support team. Training and backup from your dealership or Laley Centre and from the TSS team. Ongoing development and improvement of your farming business with our FMS team, with local and remote computer, phone and technical backup or an all-encompassing support network keeps everything up to date and running smoothly. With 30,000 operating robots around the world, constant machine and software development and improvement, huge amounts of transferable knowledge and information at your disposal, there hasn't been a better time to look at your farm in future with AMS with Laley. Here's a quick recap on the previous five Oceania focused webinars. If there are any you may have missed or a subject you need more information on, please check them out. Number one, the common misconceptions of AMS. Number two, an A5 milking robot is as easy to use as a smartphone. Number three, farming layout and infrastructure from an AMS perspective. Number four, pasture management in AMS. And number five, optimizing AMS by getting the fundamentals right. This brings this webinar to a close. Thank you for your attention and if you have any further questions, please follow the links above. We will be able to supply any information needed to enable you to continue your AMS journey if you so wish, and all the evidence needed to ensure that that journey is with Laley. Thank you.